This is Philip at Chateau Avensac. And I just want to do an update on the work done, being done on the parquet, the floors of the salon, billiard room, reception room, and um, the other room, the library. <laughs> so let's take a look. So here I am standing, I'm standing in the doorway of our bedroom actually, which is right next to the salon. And here you can see this whole section from where I'm standing to the door on the other side that was all pulled up. This is where we were running uh, electrical and plumbing. And now the wood's been put back. Most of it was the original parquet that was here. As you can see, there's obviously some replaced parquet. There, you know, some of the boards just weren't good. And right now we're gonna leave this like this until we get a little further along in other parts of the house and at some and finishing all the rest of the floors down here because then we'll come in and, and just give everything a really good sand kind of level it all out and make it look nice you notice there's really great light today that's because today it's balmy 75 i think it's like 22 or 23 celsius it, it just turned into a beautiful day and i just want to point out here in the threshold uh the, the floor repair work that's going on and since we're right here you can see <laughs> Eventually, there's a whole bunch of plastering work that we'll be doing uh, to cover up the pipes that are being put out the verticals. Now I'm entering into the reception room slash billiard room. If you recall, we're going to actually move the billiard table to an upper a room up in the upper floors. So this will become the reception room. And this whole section from where I am to the door to the library, also this was all pulled up. And in front of all of our doors, and going out to the back terrace, uh, the floors had sunk because the structure had rotted underneath. So that's, that was all repaired. You can see from here our views of the valley. And actually this was, actually, I think the first view we saw when we first visited the house, we came through the front door, walked straight through into this room and then walked out here. And this is kind of when I thought, ooh, this might be the house. But let's continue on. And now, walking into the library. Oops. Obviously, there's still some work going on, but most of this has been put down. And I believe, as I've shown in the video, sorry, the right direction. Oh, there we are. Uh, they all ended up in the right place. This is Q25. Q24, Q26, and so on. They're all labeled so they could go back in the right place. It just makes actually fitting them together easier. And you can see all of this um, all across in front of these doors was all replaced. There's still a little more work going on here. And along this wall, there was, that was all taken up. There wasn't so much of a problem there. It was more just that we needed to run the pipes under there. Sorry to cut in, Judy here. Uh, Philip is going on and on about the floors, completely forgetting that he did an interview with Alexandra and Olivier, who made the magic of the floors. Let's have a look at that now. Hi, it's Philip at Chateau Avensac, and it's morning, hence the cough. <laughs> Uh, but there's been a lot of questions about who's working in the chateau. So I thought we, I'd introduce you to some of the people working in the chateau. And fortunately, I've got two of them grovelling on the floor of the library. This is Alexandra and Olivier in the back. She's the boss. No, we are. <laughs> we? Yes. It's a, it's we, a, we are. It's equal. Yes. Okay, they're equally the boss. We are in friends. <laughs> Ah, egalitarian. <laughs> what, what's the um, what's the the motto for France? Fraternity, egalité, liberté. Uh, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Oh, see, si, égalité. Yes. Oui. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> and so Alexandre and Olivier have been working on the floors of the chateau, and they're specialists in being able to restore the old floors in the old way. So. What are we doing here? What's going on? So we are doing a little uh, shop with lime to make a very flat 
uh, surface because we need to re-glue the parquet which was glued before with uh, something like bitume. bitume yeah. And we don't have no more bitume and we don't want to smell the bitume <laughs> at home <laughs> because we have a wife and, and, uh, and husband so they don't like uh, the smell of the bitume. And then we found the, the a neoprene cool glue for... Uh, oh. And so, yeah. we, so after the shop, yes. you have to wait for this to cure? Yes. And then you After use... we, we put the, the glue and, and, the, and the parquet back, uh, which will be a castate, even if we put numbers on the, on the pieces. I, I mentioned in a previous video <laughs> that all numbers are all going to go exactly back where they were. Is that true or is that not true? <laughs> or is it just going to try and fit it as best mm. as possible? So, that's uh, all, folks. Okay. What can I say? Have you enjoyed working in the chateau? Yes, of course. <laughs> and is it because of the, you know, the, the people here are so yes, wonderful? Yes, because of the people, because of the type of work. Ah. Because it's rare to, to have some uh, casted. Casted? A breaking head. Ah. Thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and we are not only manual, we are intellectual. <laughs> it's intellectual labor. And egalitarian. And egalitarian. <laughs> it doesn't work in the castle. It doesn't get any more fresh than that. <laughs> egalitarian labor in the castle. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh -huh. But it's very difficult to choose some way of doing between something economic and something interesting and some, something respectuous, respectful. Yeah. I don't know. How to say. Respectful. Yeah. Respectful of the of the house. So it's a balancing act. Yes. To get it all right. It's a gymnic thing. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, yes. because we are <laughs> on our knees. <laughs> You're not the soldiers, you're gymnasts. <laughs> yes. After this, they're going to the Olympics. <laughs> oh, there we are, restoring so the floor of the library. Six months, we'll be... <laughs> You'll be done in six months. <laughs> yeah. In six months, they'll lay one part piece of parquet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed meeting Alexander and Olivier. <laughs> working on the floors of the chateau. They've been doing all the floor work so far, uh, all the wood floor work in the chateau so far. And they also did uh, the Tomat floor in what will be the new laundry room as well. Weren't they wonderful? Now, I have something really special lined up for you today, but let's do this right. Judy from Chateau Avensac. I have something really, really special for you today. We're starting a new segment called... Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. So today, we're gonna talk to the man behind the curtain and find out what he's doing. Everyone, I want to introduce you to... Uh, 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 Oh, oh, Mark, that's it. Mark, Mark, how are you? It's really nice to meet you. Hi, Judy. It's nice to meet you too. I am fine, but I think we may have met before. Hmm, I think I would have remembered. So Mark, tell us, what is it you're working on? I'm sure it's something magical and beautiful involving Decor and color and all those wonderful things. Well, Judy, I am working on a lot of things, but I, I'm afraid that none of them are glamorous. Um, I'm working on pipes. Pipes? What are pipes? Pipes, uh, evacuation system, sewer lines. Uh-oh. Evacuation system? 
You know what that means? Poop. Poop. Well, uh, tell us some more about it. We have to completely redo the entire evacuation system for the chateau because we will now have four kitchens, a laundry room, and 14 bathrooms. Oh! That most of that didn't exist before. So we know a lot of the history of the sewer system of the chateau. We know it uh, kind of began to come into existence much later. Oh! We've done a lot of exploration of what systems are currently in the chateau. We know that the chateau had its first toilet put in probably in the late, late 1800s. We actually know its location and the cesspool for that toilet uh, is still there, not, it's completely empty. Uh, then there was a system put in probably in the 1950s that included uh, septic tanks. And the chateau had mm. actual toilets on the ends but nothing in the middle. And we are trying to do uh, 11 ensuite bedrooms and then guest toilets uh, and sinks and showers and then add the four kitchens and the laundry room. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of distance that we have to pick up. So right now I am literally, well, here, I'll show you. I'm literally laying out the lines um, that will go around the chateau and kind of in the position of the current lines, but we are going a lot further. So we do know that we have to drop almost two meters from point A until we hit the other side of the chateau. So we've got a lot of digging to do and a lot of new pipes to install. Well, I think I certainly learned a lot about chateau poop. Uh, well, Mark, thank you very much for this very informative segment. You're welcome, Judy. And I promise next time it'll be something glamorous with color and something fun or furniture or... I know it's poop is not that exciting. So, is there something that you wanted to tell the nice people out there? Oh, don't forget to like subscribe, and ring that bell. So we'll be back next time with more of the man behind the curtain. I'm Judy from Chateau Avensac. That was Mark from Chateau Avensac. You have a great day. Bye, everybody. And now the next set of work on the floors is happening in this bedroom. So this bedroom is off the library. And you can see here where a lot of work is being done and the structure being repaired underneath and the new parquet put in, filling in with the old. It's interesting because I'm now in the bedroom on the opposite end of the house. You can see there's a very 18th century design where you have room to room to room to room. So I'm in one bedroom at one corner of the house, to the library, to the reception room, to the salon, to the bedroom on the other end. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the floors in the chateau and the work that's going on there. And uh, thank you to our patrons whose contributions go directly towards the renovation to the chateau. It's really appreciated. And to all of our viewers, we love hearing from you. So please leave us comments, tell us, let us know what you think, or if you have ideas, uh, we, we really do love hearing from you. Thank you very much. This has been Philip at Chateau Avensac. I lift this tile up. Oh, 
there's a frog or a toad. Sorry. Um, but you can see there's a drain pipe. <laughs> that was a surprise for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm going to use that. 